my name is Matt Baker. I'm an artist and I'm working with a fellow artist called uh, T.S. Bell, who um, together we're putting, putting uh, on a show that's called uh, Nothing About Us Without Us is For Us, which is part of the Glasgow International Festival of Visual Art um, and it's based in Govan. Um, the project has been a very long running um, and involved thing that involves an awful lot of people, organisations, community groups, individuals from the area. And really what we're about is trying to reclaim back some of the spaces in Govan that have perhaps got lost over the, over the years. And one of the really strong um, strands of art practice in Scotland is about work that is, is grown in a place and grows from a connection to that place and to the people that own that place. And I think that's something that George certainly talked about and showed in his work. And it's something that, that certainly I feel very passionately about as being the way that I feel um, that is the right way to go. You know, he's such a tremendously gregarious person, I think, and also um, really inquisitive and funny. I think his sense of humor was really um, first thing that I noticed, you know, and also his, I think, quite a unique, um, I would say a genuinely unique way of looking at the world, which is really valuable, you know, I think quite humorous and quite, um, you know, quite critical at the same time, so, which is not a combination that many people achieve well. <laughs> I'm Liz Gardiner. I'm the executive director of Fable Vision. I've been based here in Govan for... Uh, 28 years and uh, I've known George since I was a teenager. Um, he and my dad shared a love of jazz and played jazz together so he used to arrive at my dad's house with his big bass, I was going to say bass guitar but it's not, it's a double bass isn't it? <laughs> um, and all these jazz cronies and they would play in the living room and uh, yeah so I've, I've known him for most of my life. Striding across the macher and all, uh, on mull, herding sheep and setting fire to crofts when we were doing a reenactment of uh, Highland Clearances. Um, working his great big crocodile, he made a, a huge big crocodile for us when we did Peter Pan at the tramway and a monstrous thing with snapping jaws that came down a huge chute and chopped in half a public school boy's tie, you know, <laughs> so, and he did this every night for, oh I can't remember, it was a week's run or something. What's weird about him is if he's dead, he's not dead. He's very much alive and knowing exactly what's going on and wishing us all very well.